Good afternoon, good evening, depends on your time, my wonderful freedom fighters and lovers of freedom, my old subscribers and those who are watching without subscribing. Please, I'm asking you to go ahead if you like what you're doing here. It is about freedom. Smack the red button and click the notification bell so whenever we upload, you'll be able to get the notification. My wonderful Biafran people, we are talking about none other person than our leader, Mazen Namdekano, the Ohamadike one of Biafra land, a man who saw tomorrow lovers of freedom. On this video, you are going to watch one of his broadcasts where he's telling and waking the spirit that are dead in our midst on the danger ahead. And what this army general retired have to say concerning the situation of things in Nigeria. Nam the colonel will be out to declare Biafra for you and I, he said. They are being massacred. None of you work for the ethic. None of you work for Anang. None of you work for even a job. And other ethnic groups that made up Eastern Nigeria. None of you ever, ever work for us. We died that your useless Nigeria may be won. And today, all of us are dying. But one day, weeping must come to an end. We have decided not to weep anymore. We have decided not to cry anymore. We have decided not to complain anymore. We have decided not to petition anybody anymore. But I'm sure by the time the Fulani Janjaweed gets exactly what they're looking for in our land, the world will force to intervene. This very security outfit is very, very proactive. It has been set up that very way. We are going to confront every enemy. We are going to confront anybody who, have, who will come to kill us. Because trust me, they will come. As somebody once said, there is a method in our madness. We will draw their army down into our land. Their flanks will be opened up. Their villages will be occupied by bandits and terrorists that they themselves created. That by the time they are done and we have sent them packing from Biafra land, they will have no home to go to. All of them don't have no home to go to. The zoo is finished. And there is nothing anybody can do about it. We are not going to keep on weeping. This very evening, we want to remind the world that Fulani terrorists massacred us at Nimbo. They killed us at Ozoani. They came to my house with uniforms and killed over 28 people, as a result of which my parents died. These people will continue killing. All of you are witness to what happened in Obibo. We cannot allow such to happen again. And any governor who foolishly sides with the zoo to inflict Death, pain, and suffering upon our people will be held personally responsible, himself and his family. Himself and his family. And all of you that participated or encouraged the slaughter of the innocent at Obibo, you all will be held accountable at the right time. You cannot go free, including weaker. You cannot go free. I assure you, I'm saying it so that the world can hear. So that the day you meet your nemesis, they will know that I announced it live on air. If they want us to go to ICC, we go to ICC. Any court in the world, they want us to go to, we'll go there. But we cannot go free. Not now, not tomorrow, not ever. And the same goes for any other idiotic governor that may want to kill our people. It will no longer happen. In the coming days and weeks, people are going to come out to protest. This very Eastern Security Network will provide much needed security for protesters across Biafra land. I repeat, they will provide security for prote peaceful protesters across Biafra land. Any idiot in uniform that wants to dare us, you are more than welcome to do so. But you will bear the brunt and the consequences will be very, very dare, I assure you. I assure you. Those of you that bore witness to what happened at Zakibian, at Odi, Emene, Obibo, Isiama Farugu, Inaba, in Atumpo, 
must know that we cannot allow such senseless state-sponsored massacre of the innocent to continue. We can't allow it. We will never ever allow it. Therefore, I am placing the United Nations on notice, the EU, British government, the US government, that wherever the Nigerian army goes in again to massacre innocent people, we are going to retaliate. We will retaliate. All people will be the last time any sitting governor anywhere will give the order for innocent people to be killed. Should that happen again, that governor will die. I am saying it so you cut out this very clip and send it to the ICC so they can have it there with them. And all these criminals, all these murderers, we shall meet them there. Should the deed arise, you cannot go about killing innocent people and you expect them to do nothing. It is impossible. Absolutely impossible. It cannot happen. We have come to die for what we believe in. We have come that we may be free. The zoo called Nigeria was created. It's not about sentiment. It's that there are a group of people in this country that feels that this country should be Islamized. This is a fact. I said you want me to start mentioning names of people in this government that we have interrogated. I was a member of an interrogation team. And I've interrogated a very high-ranking member of this government in 2007-2008 on issue of Boko Haram. I interrogated him. He's in this government right now. And what was the issue? Boko Haram. And this senior officer was actually let go because it, it, he was found culpable. But right now he's in the government. You see, we must say the truth because if you don't, this country is going down the precipice. We have been set back more than 60 years right now. We've gone back to the time before 1966 now and whoever is coming back to repair this country has a lot of work to do this country has never been polarized so we cannot run away from it we have never been this much polarized i'm a federal person my mind is federal my brain is federal my loyalty is federal i kill i do things for the federal government so i cannot come here and try to be sentimental. No. I'm a federal person. So will your life be at risk now that they're hearing I, you? I don't care. I don't care. And um, my colleagues, they know me. Those people that are listening to me, they know me. I don't care. The issue is that this country is bigger than an individual. That is the issue. This country is bigger than individuals. But why do we come and go? Uh, eliminating me or killing me will not solve the problem. And uh, will not add value. But he will come and go. And somebody must come and repair the damage to the psyche of this society. The damage to the polarization, to the nepotism that I've never seen in my life. I work with all these presidents. This is the worst situation I've found myself. And believe me, Internet does not forget. I was part of the people that helped to bring Buhari to government because I believe in him. Have you worked with the government after that? After? After you helped bring the government. Oh, of course, I worked with him. We brought him in in 2015, and I work as the Deputy Director of Defense Administration, and we have a lot of hope in him. And we actually are ready to do anything for him. What he has turned out over the years is shocking to us. I was in Harvard in 2014, in December, when the Department of State Services and CIA and others were contemplating about Buhari and other uh, aspirants. I know what we did to convince the American government that the only person that can come and put this country right is Buhari. 
Nigeria. That was before the, uh, the Lagos, uh, um, the uh, APC, yeah, the, before they chose within. Right. And that was how Tinubu came in. We know what we did, but what he has done in the past six years is shocking. It's unprecedented. And it should not be allowed to be swept under the carpet because the damage to the psyche of this country is monumental. Mm -hmm. We'll talk. Thank you for watching. If the video interests you, 